Good evening, I'm Tim here. Thanks for joining us. First tonight, a breaking news alert. A bus driver in custody and several injuries after a bus rolled over. This happened in Calhoun County, West Virginia. That bus driver arraigned just within the last hour. News Channel 3's Adriana Doria is live at the courthouse where she's just gotten her hands on the court documents detailing what happened. Hey, Adriana. Hey, Tim. Yeah, a crazy situation here in Calhoun County for just the past few hours. Now we've been on, we were on scene here since about nine o'clock. And like you said, just left the arraignment for that bus driver for Calhoun County Schools. Jeffrey Brannon, take a look at this video from the arraignment. Brannon has been charged with three counts of DUI causing injury and three counts of child neglect causing injury. Now, if you also take a look at this scene video from earlier this evening, here's what happened. Officers responded to to the 8900 block of South Calhoun Highway when they observed a school bus that rolled over on its side and an EMS crews evacuating children from the back of the bus. Police say that bus was an activity bus leaving the high school. The bus driver was driving when he hit a culvert coming out of a turn when the bus tipped over. Now, according to a criminal complaint, that bus driver, Brannon, was given a preliminary breath test breath test that read two times the legal limit at point one six one. Now multiple injuries were reported from this crash. Two people had been life flighted for serious injuries, but again, not for non life threatening. Everyone is expected to be OK at this time. But again, a really crazy situation. That man is expected to be in court for his preliminary hearing on March 14th. Tim. All right, thanks, Adrian. Obviously, so many parents concerned tonight in Calhoun County, especially when they heard that that was a school bus that was involved and the two people on board that bus were life flighted. But again, we want to stress to you that uh, we have been told by police and people on the scene, uh, West Virginia State Police, that the injuries are all considered to be, even the people who were flown, considered to be non-life threatening.